hi there so in this video we are going to discuss ruby's logger library so this library is part of core ruby so you don't have to install any form of gem or you have to uh, add some specific gem all you have to do is simply call logger library okay so we are going to take a look at that so create one file name it demo.rb now what you're going to do is add require and then add logger okay after that simply create one variable name log and then logger dot new and inside this method what you're going to do is create a file with name let's say log.txt after that uh, you can set the level for your logger for example you can have log dot level and then call for logger and there are a bunch of logger levels like war then you have debug then you have info then you have error out of which let's go with one for now okay uh, do note that debug messages are not taken and they are ignored so when you type in log.debug this message is ignored so simply say this is debug message and ignore it will be visible but it will be ignored then you have log.error so this is error it will be visible in your text file then log.info this is info for your error or simply say this is info for bug then you have log.war okay here you can simply say this is warning from server after that type in also log dot fatal so this is or fatal issue from server okay so you can see these are the bunch of the messages that you can have for your log okay now what if you want to have logs created for entire day and after that day passes you want to create new file automatically so when you are doing some rails app or any other application where you are collecting the log of all these issues then you can set your logger to work on daily weekly monthly basis all you have to do is change your logger.new method to collect your logs daily or weekly or monthly basis okay so when this daily limit of logs passes a new file is created something like log and then date will be added there and saved with dot txt extension okay so you can type in daily or weekly depending on the amount of limit that you want for the file i'm setting it daily so whenever i have an application that sends me these logs it will be auto generated on daily basis so entire log for the day will be on one file and for the next day on another okay so all you have to do is just add daily weekly or monthly parameter right here in the method so when that is passed to our logger class it will generate the file okay so let's check this into action save the file and then open command prompt type in ruby demo dot rb now you can hit enter if it returns with the blank prompt that means your logger file is created here and all you have to do is go into your specific drive and check that file okay so i'm going to check this log file 
okay so my log.txt is created and as i told you that this message of this is debug message and ignore is not listed here the reason being debug messages doesn't appear on log file as per loggers way of handling the debugs now you may find that you get error then info and then warn message okay again info is ignored here now you can also see log file created message at the top with date time and then time zone so this will be set by logger so gmt plus your time zone and then logger.rb this is from your core library this message is generated and then each of this log message has a specific letter assigned to it for error it is e warning w and fatal issue f okay so each of that message also carry the same format here which is date time and then message related specific numbers okay so this will be filled with your logs if you are using on search web apps and after that d passes new file will be generated with similar message at the top with new day and time and time zone related data and all these new messages appear on that new file okay so i hope that Found this tutorial helpful now you know how to use these logger options and how to set your logger for daily weekly or monthly rotation basis